everyone, Miss Durbin here, and we are officially beginning day one of Chairs for Charity 2022. I'm so excited to finally get back to this. I know everybody is ready and anxious to get started. The very first step on your chair before we start to do anything else is sanding your chairs. Um, most of you have donated wonderful chairs, different types and sizes. Some are painted, some are plain raw wood, some have a shiny finish on them. And so we have to get these chairs back to their original wood so that we can prime them white, which will be in a couple of days. And then you will start to draw and design and create your amazing chair for the event. Um, right here in front of me, I have three different types of sandpaper. There is the fine, smooth type. There is a medium, a little bit rougher texture type. And then we have a very coarse and very rough sandpaper that will help you if your chair has paint on it, it will help you get a lot of that off, or if your chair has a really heavy finish, it will help dull it. Um, so I'm gonna really quickly just demonstrate the best way to do this process. Um, the first chair I have, you can't really see the whole thing, it's a really cute bench that Elizabeth and Becca are working on. Their chair does not have any kind of finish or anything, it's just plain, solid wood. All they'll have to do is get the fine, smooth sandpaper. And a good idea is to fold it in half. And you're just going to carefully sand the surface. Again, they don't have to do too much on theirs because there's no finish. There's no paint. It's just a nice raw wood ready to paint. But they can still get it nice and smooth and ready. So the best way to do a circular motion and you'll start to see the wood grain coming back out. You can see it a little bit better there. And you're just going to do that all over the chair, the seat, the back, the legs, everything. Okay, so that's if your chair has no major finish or paint, okay? The next type is a medium grade. This is like a regular rough surface. This type is best for a chair that has a finish. And I'm gonna try to set, this is Ryan and Jacobs chair. It's kind of hard to see, but they have a heavy finish and a lot of the chairs do. So you're going to get that medium and you're going to try really hard to get all that shiny surface off. Okay. So you're just going to fan in that circular motion or a back and forth motion. When you get to the legs, you're just going to kind of go around and up and down. And then circular motion. And get all that shiny surface off. You can see this creates a lot of dust. So that is why we're gonna do most of this outside today and probably the next day. I'm assuming two to three days is about all you need for sanding, okay? So let's just get a dull surface on the whole chair. Now, there's one more type of sandpaper. It's a really rough, heavy, coarse sandpaper. And this is really good. If your chair has a heavy coat of paint on it, this is good to try to get that off. No, you don't have to get all the paint off the chair. You just have to get it dull enough that you can prime it. 